I got here a 2013 Chevy Impala. It's a security car, so it's got the lights on the top. Customer complaint is there's no communication to the PCM and to the TCM. The shifter lights don't light up, doesn't crank. All right, I'm gonna get a scan tool. Just wanna make sure sometimes the, yeah, there's definitely two clicks to the, to the key. Okay. Let's do an auto scan, see what we get. Okay, it's not reading. Let's go to scan. We'll do it. And there's a Chevy. Okay. All right, we got the ECM and TCM on one network. Okay, so if that, so that's just. Wait a second. So there's no ECM and TCM. What else is there? There's BCM. Okay, so now we have no communication to the TCM. The ECM, what's this? Digital radio, okay, I don't know if it has that. And the EBCM. Okay, we do have to the BCM, the HVAC. What's that? Remote door control, lock receiver, fine. What's this? Vehicle communication interface module. We have no communication either. Okay, so we're using communication to many modules. What's the best way to attack this? All right, let's go look at a diagram of how this network is set up. All right, so let's pull up a diagram. Let's let's just look at the information bus. So this is the GM land serial data. We need the high speed. All right, so we have pin six and fourteen of the data link connector. It goes to these two. It splices off over here. Now, A four and A five. If it has RPO code UE UE one, then it has vehicle communication interface. If not, it goes to this one over here and it comes down and there's just a resistor over here then it comes back around okay so I think it does not have this because we're not communicating with it I'm too lazy to look for now I'll look in a few minutes but we have communication okay we have communication to the body control module no communication to the brake control module no communication to the transmission and no communication to the engine control module so first thing first what I want to do is I want to check resistance between the network I'm gonna check resistance between 6 and 14 with the car off now I should have 60 ohms because I have two 120 ohm resistors that's gonna make it 60 ohms because you have two 120 ohm resistors in parallel it's gonna lower the resistance to 60 ohms okay so let me get a ohm meter and I'm gonna check that right now and that will just tell us if the network itself is complete if there's any breaks in the wires This is because I locked myself out. Okay. Let's go to ohms. All right, and we're gonna put it across pin 14 and pin six. We have 120 ohms. So we have an open in the circuit. Now, since we have no communication to the brake control module, I'm gonna assume that our brake is right before there. So, or at least in between the body control module and this module. All right, so since I see we have 120 ohms, I'm not gonna bother with powering around to the computer because I'm gonna assume, I mean, we have a network, wait, that's why, because this is not connected. Um, well, that could be our reason, unless he disconnected this to test it, I don't know. He didn't tell me that, but you never know. All right, so let's check again what we have now. Now we should have 120 ohms. I mean 60 ohms, and we have 60 ohms right now. So that means our network's complete. All right, so let's plug this game tool in. Um, let's turn the key on. Now if you look here on pin six and 14, they give us little LEDs to tell us if it's communication and I actually don't see any communication so reconnect okay, let's go out of this and let's do another scan let's just can 
connecting. Okay, we're still, oh man, that makes a horrible sound. And the VCM has no communication. Okay, this is telling me that the brake control module is bad. Because before we had communication with the VCM, and the VCM is on this chart. I think the ABS module is bringing down the network. You see, let's look over here. Over here, we have the VCM. It comes in, it goes to the BCM. Then the BCM goes to the brake control module. Now, before the brake control module was unplugged, we had communication to this. Now we don't. So I'm gonna jump these pins together, meaning disconnect the, the ABS module and pin off these, connect 23 to 18 and 36 to three and make believe it doesn't have a brake control module and then see if we have communication to everything else. And then we'll check power and grounds of the ABS module and if not, just a bad ABS module. All right, so now I got them jumped. Now, we should have 60 ohms, 142 ohms. How is that possible? But now we have a can network. But we have only a can low. We have a can high. Oh, here we go. Okay, we have a short somewhere. All right, can low is being pulled down and can high. This looks like a module going crazy. Let's see. We got this jump to this. And we have black jump to black. That's plus and plus. There we go. Now we're good. Okay. I just wasn't pierced properly. And now, let's see. Do we have 60 ohms? 60 ohms. Let's just start now. This car just needs an ABS module. That's it. Now, let me reconnect this. Let's do a full scan. Wow. ECM has communication. TCM has communication. Great. Okay, this card's fixed. I mean, it's not fixed. It needs an ABS module. I'm going to clear the codes and ask the customer what he wants to do. He'll probably fix it himself. It's not, you know, he does his own work. Okay, so I got the used one off, um, and we're gonna go install it on the other guy. Let's nice see if the part numbers are the same. I don't know. Yeah, all right. These bolts are much rustier, so I'll use the other ones. Let's see the parking. Ooh, we got the corrosion. All right, well, I don't know if you can see it clear, but water definitely leaked through here. 
and there's corrosion in there. I'm gonna try to clean that all out. But yeah, that's the problem with this module. I just want to see the part numbers. Two five eight nine four one eight. That's the same part number. Okay, great. I'm gonna clean that out, and then we'll install this one and see if it's programming. All right, I cleaned it out as best as I could. So we're gonna put this guy back in now. The other one. Oh, they're a little bit different. Oh, no, 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 they're not different. That piece is stuck on there. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm gonna get a plier, see if I can pull that off. There we go, oh, no, nope. that's under the cover. Hmm. No, it's not bad. It was just covered. It was all part of that. Okay. Great. Let's clean this up. Let's put this guy back on. The new one. That's the old one. We don't care about that unless. Okay, that fits on nicely. All right. Okay, so I'm going to plug this guy in, let's disconnect all my attachments. Alright, let's connect this guy. <clears throat> Okay, now, let's just see if the engine starts, and it still starts, okay, now, okay, we're going to do a smart scan. ECM, TCM, PCM, I want to see if we have, okay, sorry, my GoPro battery, battery died. All right, we have communication with the EBCM. Let's just see, lost communication. There's no codes in it. I'm just gonna clear the DTCs. I really should shut that. All right, they're all clearing. Everything looks good. I think the customer just showed up. All right, and there's no codes now, so I'm assuming it doesn't have to be programmed. I'm just gonna make sure, check the VIN inside of it, make sure it's the same VIN. 
um, module information it doesn't have a VIN so I, I don't know I think I'm gonna leave it um, it just seems to be working I'll let the customer drive around see if any lights come on and yeah uh, alright thanks for watching